Well, let's turn to some power boat racing news now where rough waters cause a few casualties when the Power Boats Association hosted its fourth regatta in the national championship season. The sea conditions affected boats in almost all categories, with several crafts having to sit out races later in the day, in the day's proceedings. The rough waters were tailor-made for the big catamaran going by the name Iron Man in the 130 miles per hour class. And a pair of driver James Hadid and Trottleman Guy Costa showed the others in the class who's boss with three first and a second to Mr. Solo before the Ken Charles Cat suffered a broken crankshaft in the first circuit race on the day and had its campaign cut short, clearing the way for Iron Man and Big Thunder to steal the show. But not even Iron Man could upstage the near flawless performance of Bacchanal, which formerly went by the name Stinging Nettle. The Trinity Offshore race team of driver Wayne Hannock and Trottleman Justin Deckel seem to have a leg up on the conditions as the boat handled well, despite some rough patches just in front of the yacht club, where the spectators got to see the skill and dexterity of the crew at work as they navigated the severe chop. Those conditions also accounted for a complete break off the engine of extreme measures, while Mobile Outlaw also had engine trouble. They were joined by Powered by God and PP Conqueror who both had engine and start issues to affect their performances on the day. But with this GNC-sponsored event out of the way, the countdown to the annual Great Race is well and truly on. And with a major cat fight building up in the 130 mile per hour category, now that Iron Man has thrown down the gauntlet to Mr. Soul and others, fans can't wait. But at Bacchanal into the fray to battle the likes of Sheriff Lobo in the 95 mile an hour class, as the boat tries to make it five great race victories in all, but three while named Bacchanal. Heatwave also looks in good shape, as does the battle in the 70 mile an hour class, featuring notables like Chris Cornwall and the Fire Chief, which is making steady progress, counting two first place finishes and a second to justify its lusty billing.